Hi Capricorn, welcome to the Soul Song. This is Nina and this is going to be your August 2021 love story reading. We're looking at what's happening in your love life, uh, whether you're single or with someone. Take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest behind, okay? So I'm going to start with some oracle cards that I have picked out for you. These will give us uh, the overarching theme what's happening in your love life a glimpse of it okay quite a few cards came out for you let's see you've got contract number six the thinking woman okay lots of air energy decisions choices to make perhaps sanctuary cave okay. you've got rebirth spring equinox nice Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. And lastly, we have the Oak Man. Beautiful. So you're being asked to actually fall back on your wisdom, okay? Uh, and there's a lot of this books, okay, here in the first card as well as the second one. And with the oak man as well, it is about, you know, falling back on your wisdom, taking your time to decide something based on your experiences, based on all the wisdom that you've gathered until now. Okay. And then making a decision, not from your fear based energy, but from your higher intellect and your wisdom. Okay. You might be feeling... Uh, the urge to actually go within uh, this is very much like the hermit energy uh, the sanctuary and really focusing on yourself at this time focusing on uh, trying to also get clarity about a situation okay with rebirth here there is a possibility of someone actually of a connection coming back to life if you've recently you know maybe parted ways, ways with someone or things may have fizzled out it is quite possible that in general your love life is going to pick up now and um, that's also where you need to work on your fears okay especially if you've been in that single energy for quite a while you might feel uh, a little bit you know hesitant to really get into a new connection so that's what I'm picking up on. Let's start with your tarot reading and uh, see what's happening in your past, present, future, who you're dealing with and what's happening. Okay. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Princess of Swords, which is, again, air energy. There's a lot of this... <laughs> You might be dealing with an air sign, okay? There's strong like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, especially Libra with a contract there. So, someone could also be keeping an eye on you, all right? I am feeling that. But you are probably not aware of this. Yeah, now we have the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That is decisions choices to make oh we have the lovers okay so you're very much on the defense i feel here yeah. hmm there is some kind of a choice to make here because you also have the lovers in the middle of your reading and the lovers to me is about choices. <laughs> and one more card for choice here. Yeah. Two of Wands. So Capricorn. I feel like the, you do feel very passionately for someone. Or someone's coming in quick. Okay with the Knight of Wands. And you've got a lot of this fire energy and air energy. Fire and air usually does go well. But um, it can also fizzle out, okay, uh, quickly, especially with the Knight of Wands because it's very in and out. And that's perhaps why you're taking your time to really assess this 
situation and the you could say the stability of this connection you're looking at the pros and cons you're seeing you know what goes in what am i getting out of this is this a fair and balanced situation or not do i consider this or not so yeah also considering your options you might actually have options okay capricorn we have the ace of wands and the three of wands this could be someone you met uh, possibly online or when you were out somewhere traveling this could be someone at a distance from you there's a lot of chemistry a lot of passion that's coming through very strongly okay uh, with the ace of wands and the knight of wands you've got more wands there as well and temperance is sagittarius this combination in this exact position had come up for someone else as well and that was I think it was a fire sign. <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, I think it was a fire sign. Anyway, um someone is actually present here, someone's energy, but it's very in and out. It's very passion driven. There's a lot of strong chemistry. There must be a lot of sexual attraction with this person. But either there is another person in the equation and that's why you need to make a choice or you're just at a crossroads with this person you're not really sure of uh possibly their intentions or you know you're trying to carefully assess this person and what they have to offer to you okay and especially if this is someone from your past who wants to revive something with you then that is what you're considering here temperance and the king of pentacles this is like very slow moving energy but uh, with temperance there this can also be a reconciliation with someone okay um and the king of pentacles is your energy i feel you're in a stable position in your own element capricorn but then there's a lot of this thinking going on okay the queen of swords <laughs> um is definitely like that thinking woman that we saw okay deep down um you or both you or this other person or both of you are actually spending a lot of your time contemplating thinking about which way to go okay uh, there's a sense of indecision about which path to take and there's a lot of the slow healing energy you hear with the temperance and the four of swords recovering from something or just biding your time perhaps because you may be at a distance from each other okay and that's perhaps why you need to sort of stay in your wits about this is what i'm getting you're being very practical okay let's just put it that way and in the near future you have the five of cups two of wands nine of wands um there's some kind of disappointment here okay with the five of cups and the nine of wands it's like you're tired i'm not sure if i can carry on with this uh this is dragging on and it keeps going back and forth perhaps okay or this person keeps going back and forth with the knight of wands and the two of wands there so there is a decision here that needs to be made you might be wondering yeah we've got the snake there what is that's too much we have the stalk the moon and the garden and the book it feels like you you can't really understand this person properly there's a sense of like deception not like malice or anything if this person has somebody else in their life then yeah that could be the case okay but uh, because the snake can sometimes mean to me the other woman sort of card okay and with the book here there is this sense of not having the full picture about what's happening 
but with the stock there there is a change okay also needing to step out of your comfort zone or needing to explore with the two of wands there and the two of pentacles here there is a choice to be made and I was about to say Libra so you may be dealing with a Libra okay and the Queen of Swords could be a Libra and you have the Princess of Swords there as well what is this choice about Knight of Wands the lovers that's not helping <laughs> okay yeah we've got the coffin and the tree so the choice is pretty much like is this stable is this long term or should this come to an end okay and with the rebirth there and also about you know loyalty is this someone i can trust is this person here for the long haul or should i just put an end to this okay that's the dilemma here and this could also be someone from your past who is coming back okay this time around to sort of revive the connection and uh, you might be on the defense because of that because you're not too sure of which way to go let's see what's happening between capricorn and this other person Fall back on your wisdom, your experience and make a decision. I would say carefully looking at the, you know, both perspectives as well as the pros and cons of this uh, situation. Heart to heart conversations. I'm glad to see that actually getting to know each other. Nice. And we have flirting, worth waiting for. At the bottom of the deck, we have keep an open mind, compromise. The temperance can be about compromising, okay. But then that has to work both ways, right? It has to be a win-win situation. So you can meet each other halfway, all right? Let's get some messages from this person. What would they like to say to you if they could say something if you're not in communication with each other i'm also getting like this person or you could be either way okay um is literally thinking about communication or thinking how do i communicate you know thinking of speaking the truth being honest and stepping out of that snake energy okay Hmm. I'm so attracted to you. Not surprised to see that. A lot of chemistry, a lot of passion, a lot of attraction. Hmm. I'm not sure my folks would approve of us. Commitment is a scary thing, yeah. That's typically the Knight of Wands. what else would they like to say to Capricorn I keep writing that text and deleting it I'm sorry I can't give you what you want and that is perhaps commitment I admire your gifts and abilities you're amazing I'm not sure I feel the way I used to about you okay this person seems a bit confused I wish we'd spend more time together. So getting to know each other. I wish we'd spend more time together. Heart to heart conversations. Hmm. I'm hoping that leads to some clarity. Getting to know each other again. Okay. I have mommy issues at the bottom of the deck. The page of swords can actually be very immature sort of energy okay dealing with someone who is on the defense all the time or if they have especially commitment uh, phobia then they're gonna always want to rebel against you you know for no reason what they're actually rebelling against is 
uh, their, their fears. And we did see that card there. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So where is this heading for Capricorn? What can we expect? Where is this heading? Uh, six of Cups, Four of Cups, reminiscing, thinking about the past. But you don't seem to be too keen on what's being offered to you here, Capricorn. Uh, there seems to be some disappointment, okay? King of Wands, so again, fire energy. Justice, Libra. Aries energy with the Emperor. Death, and we have the Devil. Ooh. We have the Princess of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. If you decide to actually let go of this, you know, to put an end to this. And the devil is about like temptation. This person is very tempting, I feel. Very seductive. And it's like hard to resist them. But then it's time for you to think uh, very clearly, okay, and honestly about what you are actually looking for. And to feel and to be in your power, in your autonomy, okay? And uh, go for what you actually desire, what actually fulfills you rather than um, being stuck in a situation where you're possibly not... You're, you're feeling dejected, you're also feeling disappointed okay more than anything else because you're not on firm footing with this person i feel love who you are you are divine delightful and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer capricorn hmm. you absolutely are what's the advice here for capricorn ask for help and this could be help in the form of advice from someone you trust or uh, help from your spirit team your spirit guides to show you the way to show you the path forward okay and be in the present dream of the future when we dream everything is possible you are limitless i think you're playing it small you might think that you know if I let go of this, I won't find anything better. But that's not true. Um, it is your choice ultimately. You can work this out. Provided both of you meet each other halfway is what I'm getting. Okay, And really have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. What can they look forward to, Capricorn? Oops. I love you. These are powerful words. Okay. So, what do I say? <laughs> That's finally some expression of love. Okay. Honesty is essential. So, someone's going to speak uh, the golden words and be really honest about their feelings, their uh, true, authentic feelings. Okay this time around and be willing to express love this is all talking about expression and we have the heart of the matter there's more going on than meets the eye i feel like that is going to be revealed to you capricorn it's going to happen in time so that is what i have for you i hope this helped and i hope this resonated if you enjoyed the reading, do hit the like button and uh, share, subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to have you on board. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful month ahead. God bless. Bye-bye.